it's Rachel from a mother far from home. Today I want to talk about when to go from a crib to a big boy or big girl bed. I often have people ask me this question and my personal answer to the question is never. <laughs> but okay seriously you do have to move your baby from the crib to the big boy bed or big girl bed at some point. So let's start with two reasons you shouldn't move them to a, a big bed. The first is because you just want the room to look better with a, you're just tired of the baby decor. That's not really a good reason because you will re seriously be regretting that if you move them earlier than they were ready just because you're tired of looking at a crib and you want to get a bed in there. Second reason you shouldn't move them is just because you need that crib for the new baby. Now, of course, you might not want to have two cribs if you're going to change shortly, but you can always, for newborns, can sleep in bassinets and play, play pins and the, the bumpers upside your bed, even if they're in their own room there's plenty of other ways that a newborn can sleep without having to take a little young toddler's crib Be because when a new baby comes home that often creates a little bit of mm, mumbo jumbo in the house and if you have a, a young toddler who wasn't really ready to move into their own bed and then you bring a baby home what's going to happen is you're going to be up all night feeding the baby and up all night putting the toddler back in the bed this is not what you want to do so the next thing you need to consider when deciding if you should go from the crib to the bed, and I'll say most people I think do this around two years, somewhere around two years. I often wait till two and a half. I've even waited till closer to three with one of mine just because he never tried to climb out and he didn't complain and it honestly didn't even occur to me until he was nearing three and we needed the crib. Um, so there's no set age per se. Your child will clearly get big enough to jump out and at that point you might as well put them in a, a bed if they're older. So consider this, does your child obey you? Do they mind you? Do they do what you say? If during the day they don't listen to what you say, if you put them in a bed at night and tell them to stay in the bed, they're not going to stay in the bed. They're gonna get out and do play, turn the lights on. You might find them in the bathroom. You might find them anywhere. So actually if they don't obey you, it's a little bit dangerous to put them in a bed where they can get out and roam the house in the middle of the night because you can't trust that they'll stay there. So. It, it, there's actually a level of self-control your child needs to have before you give them that freedom because although it's not freedom in the sense of a privilege it is freedom in that they can just get out and go do anything that they want to do at any time of day unless you've locked them in their room so if they're not actually ready for that level of freedom then it's not really a good idea to put them there but what you can do is practice obedience throughout the day you know make practice um, requiring them to follow through, give consequences if they don't follow through. Once you know during the day they pretty well obey you, you can trust that more or less they'll obey you at night as well. The last question is, are they going to share a room? So if, for example, you think you want to move your one and a half year old or two year old to a bed, um, think about who are they sharing a room with? Are they sharing a room with the baby? Because that could mean in the middle of the night they could just get out and put the try to jump in with the baby crib. One time when we were staying at our beach house we had um, a, a three-year-old and the baby were napping in the same room. Well, the three-year-old went to put a blanket on the baby and it fell in the crib and he couldn't get it out and I heard the baby shrieking. My baby was four months at the time and I went and the blanket was fully covering him. My three-year-old was cowering under the, and he was saying, I couldn't get it off. I couldn't get it off. So I'm not saying this to scare you, although it took 10 years off of my life, but I'm saying you don't want to put a child in a bed and give them that freedom if they're not old enough. So I, instead of thinking, how soon can I put them in a bed? Think, are they ready for that freedom?